Hi there, it's Michael Ackerman coming to you from Seattle, Washington, where I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker Bain. Today's video blog is for all you buyers out there that are purchasing a property and are wondering as a part of your inspection, should you do a sewer scope? And I did a blog on this a couple of weeks or months ago. The one note that I wanted to add is I always recommend doing a sewer scope, even if you're buying a newer home. And I'll give you the reason in a minute. With older homes, the sewer lines are usually made out of clay or cement. You definitely want to do a sewer scope because traditionally a seller will not know whether the, seller, the sewer is intact, whether there's an offset or a crack. And with a sewer scope, you can readily find out what kind of condition the sewer line is in and if it needs to be um, attended to. And that's something as a buyer that you want to know going in. With newer construction, you may think, well, it's a new sewer line. We probably won't need to do one. Let me give you two stories about why you should still do a sewer scope with new construction. Sold a house about a year ago, brand new construction, 2011. We did a sewer scope. The buyers were like, well, we don't really know if we want to spend the 200. I said, do it. There happened to be a ball of grout stuck in the line. I guess when they were grouting the shower, a ball of grout fell down the sewer line and either they didn't notice or no one said anything. And so we found that and that had to be removed because it was stuck to the side of the sewer and it was impeding the... Um, waste from getting past it and going down. They were really glad they did a sewer scope. I sold a house this year, built in 2001, and we thought, well, the buyer thought, do we need to do a sewer scope? I said, do one. They had actually built the house. They had torn down an old house built in the 30s and built the new house, and they didn't even put in a new sewer line. They just tied it into the old sewer line, and there was a crack because the house had been built long ago and the sewer line was old. So it's always a good idea. I always suggest doing a sewer scope. I think it's the best thing you can do, even with new construction, because you never know what's lurking underneath the ground, and the seller usually will have no clue. If you have any other questions about real estate in general, feel free to email me at Michael Ackerman at cbbain.com. And do remember, it's all about the connection.